Women Who Changed Everything, Part 3. She discovered a cure that saved millions of lives by reading a 1600-year-old scroll. Tu Yuyu was born in 1930 in the port city of Ningbo, China. Her name Yuyu comes from a line in an ancient poem, Deer bleed Yuyu while eating wild hao. Wild hao, sweet wormwood, the same plant that would define her life. As a teenager, she fell ill with tuberculosis. Surviving it motivated her to move into medical research. She went on to study pharmacy at Beijing Medical College, where she learned both modern pharmacology and traditional Chinese medicine. It was an unusual education, a bridge between two worlds that most scientists kept apart. Then in 1967, during the Vietnam War, malaria was killing soldiers across Southeast Asia. North Vietnam asked China for help, and Mao Zedong launched a secret effort known as Project 523. Thousands of scientists searched 240,000 compounds for a cure. None succeeded. Two years later, Tu Yuyu, then 39, was appointed to lead a small team at her institute. So she turned to something most others had ignored, traditional Chinese medicine. She spent months copying remedies by hand, compiling 640 possible prescriptions in a notebook she called a collection of practical prescriptions for anti-malaria. Most failed, but then she found a clue in a book written in 340 AD. Use sweet wormwood, steep it in cold water. That changed history. Hot water destroyed the active compound, so Tu tried a low temperature extraction using ether. This time, it worked. In mice and monkeys, the fever disappeared. The compound, Jinghao Su, or artemisinin, was pure, powerful, and fast-acting. It has now saved millions of lives, especially in the developing world. Tu Yuyu volunteered to be the first human subject. She said, as head of this research group, I had the responsibility. It was safe, human trials succeeded, and quietly, without the fanfare, the deadly disease began to lose. Her team also derived dihydroartemisinin, the more stable form still used today. But because the work was done under secrecy, her name didn't appear on early papers in 1977. She was effective, but not yet famous. But decades later, in 2011, she received the Lasker Award. And in 2015, at the age of 84, the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, becoming the first mainland Chinese woman ever to win a Nobel. In 2019, China awarded her the Medal of the Republic, its highest national honor. Even now, her office sits in an old apartment in Beijing. No luxury, no titles. She's regarded as the three without scientist, without a PhD, without foreign study, without academy membership, but with an idea that saved millions. Tu Yuyu found the future hidden in the past and proved that wisdom and science were meant not to compete, but complement. Be gentle with yourself.